as you move through the plains and the plateaus, as you journey through mountains and peaks, you must understand, young Siddha, that your greatest foe lies not in the ground beneath you or in the distance before you. A man's greatest foe is one who he cannot see. A man's greatest foe is the ally he never thought to question. It appears before your eyes. It dances in your dreams. It creates within you rivers and streams. It creates emotions within you, like a torrential sea. Its cleverest act is in compelling you to flee. The mountains before you, the space between the stars, these are not your final frontier. It is your mind that is the greatest mountain. It is the mind that is your greatest barrier. Seek not the green fields of happiness, for they are a mirage of the mind. Seek not to face your fears, for it is not your truest enemy. If you succumb to the thoughts of common men, your life will have been an insult to what you were created to be. Seek not the favor of the world. Adopt not its ways and its forms, for this is not your path to the true and the beyond. Like not, hate not, for these are but habits of the mind. The mind accumulates from the world in order to make itself whole. Understand clearly that a worldly man is forever a fragmented one. Seek not the company of common men, for they have been ensnared by cultures. Having not the eyes to see, they will slowly make you blind. The mind is attracted to the pleasurable, pleasurable things and pleasurable feelings. These will lead you to the people and places that will lead you forever astray. Freedom lies not in doing what you like. It lies in a stark independence from the mind. There is much to learn, young Siddha, for this world is not what you think it to be. Beware the mind that allows you not to see.